This chapter will focus on creating a standard category dimension. The sample data that we'll be using in this tutorial is derived from our sample database called Synatica 2010. Before we can start making a dimension, we need to create a couple of virtual tables. We're going to create virtual tables straight from the 2.1.1 data connector. In particular, we'll be using product groups and products. Let's go ahead and promote them to virtual tables, like so. We're going to create a virtual table folder for them and move them there by dragging and dropping them in so we can stay organized. Be sure to check them in so we can use them when creating the dimension. Okay, we're ready to start creating a category dimension. Let's start off by going to the Design Explorer and clicking on Dimensions Context menu. Next, click on the New Dimension menu item to create a new category dimension. Type in a meaningful name. Let's use 3.1.1 so it's easy to associate this tutorial with this dimension for future reference. This will bring up the Setup Wizard. Select the Product Group's Virtual Table and click Next. We need to select both columns, one that represents the ID and the other that represents the friendly name. Click Finish to close the wizard. We are going to call the level Product Groups. Let's click on the Preview tab to see how it looks. Now let's add another level to this dimension. Click the Add Level button. This will bring up the following wizard. Choose the Products table this time and click Next. We need to pick the following columns. Once done, click on Finish to close the wizard. Let's call this level Products. Now we need to join this level on the previous level. In this case, they are joined like so. The concept is similar to that of doing joins in SQL. Now we want to have a more meaningful name to display, so we will change the display name like so. Let's go ahead and preview our two-level dimension now. Finally, check it in so it will be available to those creating business metrics. Now we have a dimension that we can use on a KPI to filter group and drill down by product. Of course, the KPI has to have a corresponding column to associate this dimension to. This concludes our tutorial on creating a category dimension.